Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today I have four adorable and slightly unusual snowmen um, projects to share with you. It is part of the unusual snowman DIYs uh, open playlist and it is hosted by uh, Amanda at Six Kids and a Glue Gun and Jackie at Crafting in Mimi's World. I will have a little more information on this in just a bit. So this first project, I am taking three of the, um, what are those, wood cut, cut out, wood chip things. I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> you know what they are. Um, anyhow, so I am painting them with the white uh, chalk paint from Waverly. And I just gave them one coat and I'm going to glue them together on top of each other. So once that's done, I'm just taking my black Arteza paint pen and I am going to draw the eyes and the mouth and the buttons for my snowman. And then of course I take the orange paint pen to draw the carrot nose. And then I found these really cute little hat ornaments from Walmart. So I am just taking one of them and I'm just gonna glue it to um, the I don't know, it's kind of off-centered, but uh, to the top-ish part of the top ring. And then I just take some jute twine and I'm putting it through the hole in the top disc uh, so that I can uh, hang it on the tree if I choose to. And then I'm taking some toothpicks and I am going to make some little branch arms for the snowman. And then lastly, I am just taking some of the Buffalo Check uh, ribbon thin stuff from Dollar Tree and I'm making his little scarf. And that is it for this project. He's so cute, don't you think? Let me know what you guys think. So for my second project, I found this, um, it's like a wood reed, like for basket weaving, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I made a couple of circles out of it. And then I took that white, um, fluffy, like cloth thing from Dollar Tree in the automotive section. And I just I'm gluing it to the back of these circles that I made and then I will just um, cut around 
the circle um, and then I'll just have the like the the fabric the cloth on the back side of the circles And then I'm taking one of these, like, I don't know, it's a piece of home decor, I guess. Uh, but I'm going to use the back side, um, sort of like a shadow box kind of thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I am taking some of the white Waverly chalk paint and I am going to give the entire inside two coats of the chalk paint and then I go around the edge of right there you can see uh, the edge of the outside of the box and I'm just going to put craft paper on the back to cover up that mess um, and then I did a little bit of dry brushing with some of the antique wax so now I am just trying to figure out the placement of everything and then I have these um, half beads from Amazon. These are the black and white buffalo check. Um, so I'm using those for the buttons. And then I am taking the wire jute that you get from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use those for his arms. And then I got a bunch of half beads from Amazon. You can see them on the right corner of the screen. And I took two of a bigger size and then five smaller sizes, painted them all black. And then I am going to use the bigger ones for the eyes and the smaller ones for the mouth. And I'm just going to, again, hot glue them all into place. And apparently I lost the footage, but I do um, glue, hot glue the hat to his hands. So he's kind of holding his hat instead of wearing it. Just a little something different, something unusual. <laughs> so now I got a pack of like flowers and leaves from Amazon. And I'm taking some of the flowers and I'm painting them blue. I kind of flipped them over. And so they sort of look like snowflakes. And then one of the leaves, I painted the black, I'm sorry, the back <laughs> with orange. And that is going to be his carrot nose. So now I'm just going to glue everything into place. And then of course he needs a scarf. So uh, because the, I had already glued the snowman into place, I just had to kind of glue the ribbon like on each side of the little like indent. Um, and then I took like the tails of the scarf and I kind of frayed, you know, I kind of peeled the I don't know, like the bottom off so that it was like frayed on the ends. 
you can see right there. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I did that and then I kind of folded it over and just ended up uh, gluing that into place as well. And that is it. I think he is so stinking cute. I really, really like this one. I don't know how unusual it is, but I think it's stinking cute. Let me know what you guys think. So as I had said earlier, this is part of the unusual snowman DIY open playlist hosted by Jackie at Crafting in Mimi's World. And if you have not seen Jackie's channel, you have got to go over there. She is just amazing. And it is also hosted by Amanda at Six Kids and a Glue Gun. God bless her, Six Kids. Anyway, her stuff is so great too. I'm going to leave both links to both channels in the description box down below. Go check them out. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. So now for this next project, I am taking these. I don't even know what they're called. I think maybe they're called grapevine balls, maybe. Anyway, I'm taking three of them and I am just going to stack them on top of each other. And um, there's really not a whole lot to say about this. I'm hot gluing it and then I'm going to hot glue the next one. Um, yeah, there's really not a whole lot to say about this. I'll just let you watch. Now I wanted to have something a little bit different besides the black and white hat that I have on the other two. So I took the Arteza pink pen and I just painted over it so that it is just a black hat. Um, and then I took some burlap and I am making a scarf out of the burlap and now I'm just taking some of the ends off to give it that frayed look. And then I'm gluing his little top hat on. Now, while I was doing this work, my stepdaughter was making me a little pipe and I didn't know. See the little pipe? Isn't it so cute? Oh my goodness, I love this thing. I think it's one of my favorites. Uh, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> And then for this last project, I have these two candle holders and I am just taking some of those puffy dots and I am just kind of sporadically putting them on the glass. And then once I finally get those stinking stickers off the bottom of the glass, I give both of these candle holders just one coat of the Waverly white chalk paint. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pull all of the dots back off.
And of course there was some bleed through, so I just kind of scraped off the extra. And then there you can see, I put some candles in the glass. So now I'm taking one of these, I don't know, it's a scraper, razor blade thing and one of the um, spools from one of the taller um, ribbons from Dollar Tree. And then I take the top part and glue it back on because it was a little too tall. And then I take this fabric that I got, I believe it was from Dollar Tree or Walmart, I can't remember, but um, so I cut a piece out to wrap around the hat and now I'm just going to paint that black and then I am going to take a, another piece of that fabric and I am going to cut out a circle to put on the top of that quote unquote hat. <laughs> You'll see, it all comes together. Trust me. <laughs> And now I'm just taking a thin piece of that same fabric and I'm bringing it around the like brim, rim, brim, rim, I don't know, of the, <laughs> the hat. And uh, it just kind of ties it all together. And then I take another piece of that fabric and I'm just going to wrap it around the top of the bottom uh, candle holder because I can't just put a ribbon around it because I need to be able to take these two pieces apart to change out the candles and to turn the candles on and off. So yeah, so I go around that and then I am just going to glue some tails and I cut those like I shorten them and then I make little slits in the bottom so that it looks like it's, you know, like got little tassels on the end. And then I have some extra like Christmas uh, embellishments that I have in a baggie. So I'm just taking like some berries and I cut off some of the like pine needles and a pine cone and I'm just gonna decorate the hat a little bit. And then that's it for this project. It's my snowman with no face. <laughs> uh, but I still think it came out really cute. I like the idea of the dots so that you can actually see the candlelight flickering. Um, but anyways, let me know what you guys think of this one. So I would like to thank Jackie and Amanda for allowing me to participate in this playlist. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will give it a great big thumbs up. 
If you are new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope that you will consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video and share, share, share with your family and friends and I will see you next time. Bye.